For Gamelan, there are two main tuning systems, Slendro and Pelog. Although these tuning systems do vary dramatically across the whole of the Indonesian country, there are some principles which do stay the same. This is a Slendro tuned Gende from Central Java. And in Slendro scale, there are always five different pitches. Here's the first one. That's number one again. They often number them simply one, two, three, five, six, back to one. And the five pitches are always evenly spaced out within an octave. So to the Westerner's ear, they can sound very out of tune, because obviously on most Western instruments using a 12-note chromatic scale, we can't divide it into five equal parts. This is from Central Java. In Bali, the Slendro scale is mainly only used for shadow puppetry or for some of the ancient ensembles. Of course, you, it's very rare you'd have any gamma instruments that use both Slendro and Pelog tuning systems. You would have to have a whole set of Slendro tuning instruments and a completely different set of Pelog instruments. So this instrument is a Gangza from Bali, very similar range of pitches in, compared to the instrument I've just shown you, the Slendro instrument. This is Pelog tuned. There are seven tones in the Pelog scale. Here's the first one. Moving up. Back to number one again. However, what a lot of people get very confused about is that you would very rarely play one piece of music that uses all seven tones. You just pick five of them. So if you were going to number them, one, two, three, four, five, six to seven, you might just use numbers one, two, three, five, and six. That's the most common scale. However, in Bali, it's very rare they actually give numbers to the pitches. They normally have the solfege names ding, dong, deng, dung, and dang. <laughs> 